It is the year 2012, and tuberculosis has already infected an estimated one-third of the world's population. In 2009 alone, a staggering 9.4 million new cases were reported. Let's look at it another way. One person is infected every three or so seconds. In one minute, a little less than 18 people are infected. And in one hour, 1,073 people are infected. And when we include the number of people who were infected prior to this, the numbers become astronomical. Fortunately, there is already a cure, but the war is not over yet. Even though the cure works, it is a long and complicated process, so long that many patients often fail to follow it correctly. And when this happens, not only does the patient suffer a relapse of tuberculosis, it comes back even tougher than before. To make it easier for patients to follow the regimen, WHO designed DOTS, which in essence focuses on having a third party observe and confirm that the medicines are administered. Since then, the absolute number of tuberculosis cases has been decreasing. But even so, it's still expensive and troublesome to have someone directly monitor a patient. And for people living far away from medical centers, ease of accessibility may be an issue. Tuberculosis might be slowing down, but there is more to be done. And that's when we decided to create Medevice. Utilizing a cloud web service, we sent SMS messages reminding patients to take their treatment, while helping the medical staff keep detailed records of each patient's treatment process. Medevice effectively cuts down the costs of supervision, while making supervision more accessible at the same time. Let's see how this works. On the patient's first visit to a hospital, the hospital staff helps them subscribe to the service by filling out an online form, which is sent and stored on the cloud. In addition to this, the medical staff can create a customized treatment plan for the patient, as well as set reminders for upcoming TB tests. The patient soon receives a welcome message confirming that they have been successfully registered. Starting from that day, the patient receives a text reminder each day. Once they take their medicines, they respond by calling the number or sending a blank text message back. If the patient forgets to respond, another reminder is sent later in the day. In addition, their family members are also notified so that they can check up on and remind the patient to take their medicines. But if for some reason the patient still fails to respond, then at the start of the next cycle, the patient's missed treatment will be recorded and the hospital will be notified. Additional features include customized messages for the staff to send to patients and a detailed treatment planner. In addition, the final prototype will also offer Windows Phone support for the medical staff.